Hello beloved and welcome to more days of prayer. Today we meet Jesus as the Lion of Judah, one of his several titles starting with the letter L within the A to Z titles. Remember last time we met Jesus introduced as the Lamb of God. He is an incredible one to possess both qualities. Our text for today is from Revelation 5 verse 5 and I read but one of the 24 elders said to me stop weeping look the lion of the tribe of Judah the heir of David's throne has won the victory he is worthy to open the scroll and its seven seals amen in her book Bible History Old Testament volume 1 Mrs. White says the lion king of the forest is a fitting symbol of this tribe from which came David and the son of David Shiloh the true lion of the tribe of Judah to whom all powers shall finally bow and all nations render homage amen in what sense could one who was introduced as the lamb also be and introduced as a lion well at the time he came to save us and was slain, he came as a humble lamb, the lamb of God that was slain. But now that he died and is resurrected, he is indeed a king with all power given to him as recorded in Matthew 28 verse 18. Soon and very soon he is coming and we, he will appear like a king, which is Lion of Judah. We know that a lion, as a king of the beasts, protects and favours his cuts and family only but then devours any creature outside its family. In the light of this, when Jesus appears as a judge, only those who know him as a lamb would be to meet him as a lion. However, those who didn't have a relationship with him will face his judgment. It would therefore be an appropriate decision for us to take in having a relationship with him as the present time that he's still operating as the Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world. John 1 verse 29. Hence, don't put off having a relationship with him now because when he appears as a lion, it will be judgment time when all power has been given to him to judge. It will be too late since you have never had a deeper relationship with him. And like a lion destroys its enemies, so will Jesus come to destroy his enemies. But then remember that those who have a relationship with him will be protected. Amen. Jesus is such a lion who protects those who are his while prosecuting those who reject him, hate him, and are friends of the world. This is found in James 4 verse 4 or in Romans 8 verse 7. This means if you come to Jesus Christ, you will be as a lion who will fight against your enemy and redeem you. Why don't you come today and receive all his great blessings and protection as you decide to have a relationship with him? Our prayer requests for today. Praise and thank God that Jesus is the lion who fights for us and will come to rescue us. Pray for people who are experiencing serious challenges in life and may be doubting the power of God. Pray for children who are back to school and those with terminal illnesses. Pray for the people of India and many countries who are experiencing COVID lockdown. And lastly, pray for at least five people who have a need you are aware of. Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you once again for a beautiful message. Jesus, you are the line of Judah. You will come to protect us and rescue us. Thank you for having you as such. We want to pray for anybody who needs your help and is maybe even doubting you. Please show them your power and come to their rescue. I want to pray for India since COVID cases are rising very rapidly. I pray that you provide any resources that they need to fight the illness and you also heal them from any sickness. And I also want to pray for anybody, especially children who have to go back to school or for anybody who has to go back to work and may be exposed to the virus. I pray that you protect them. Thank you. In Jesus name I've prayed. Amen.
Thank、you